Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Staley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive on in. Give you a little fist bump and say howdy. Our subject for today is selling. It is a lifestyle. What did he say? I said selling. It is a lifestyle. Now, you may be saying, what in the world? Okay. Listen, I've been in sales in one form or capacity for a long time. I love it. I love the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And I'm going to tell you what, because I started so far back in the 80s, back in the dinosaur days, I've got a little bit of information to share, and i like to share this with you. Selling, it is a lifestyle. Now, the reason why I call it a lifestyle is because, see, it grows on you. If you're a new salesperson, you're just getting started, you will get older if you're lucky. And in this regard, you're going to run into a lot of situations where you're going to be making this thing called commission. When you start working in sales, commission is really a benefit. It's a blessing because, see, it gets you to dictate how much money you're going to make. Now, that's real good. See, a lot of jobs you get, you get the paid whatever they give you, and then you go, okay, dang, I did real good this year, but I didn't get no bonus. Dang, I need to make more money. Well, that's why it's so great that you are in sales because, see, it's a lifestyle, man. It's a great lifestyle, and it gives you the capability. If you ain't happy with the amount of money that you're making, that's okay. You work a little harder. You work a little smarter, and sometimes you pick up new products, or you go to another company that's selling something as a niche that you can do. I'm telling you, man, I've worked in sales in so long, and I've had a lot of great opportunities with some good companies that went out of business but it wasn't my fault. It was whatever life happens. You got to go ahead and go with the flow. It's a lifestyle. Now, see, I didn't know that after all these years, I had people say, Gary, you've been in sales a long time. I'm like, yeah, I sure have. And they asked me, do you still enjoy it? I love it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly, and the warts and all. And I'll tell you, I'm one of them real honest salespeople. I'll tell you things that most people don't want to talk about. But you see, the question for today is selling. Is it a lifestyle? It is a lifestyle. And what I mean by that is because we do get to work on commission, we get to go ahead and stipulate our futures. Now, I'm going to tell you what, if you are in sales, you need to go ahead and uh, apply this, this one thing, save for a rainy day, because you're going to have some really good days, and you're going to have some days you go, damn, man, I don't know if I can do this anymore. But that's okay, because, see, that's a part of the lifestyle. If you're wanting, just, just remember, more, more the risk, more the payoff. And if you're working in sales, you know, we work on our own wits. We work for ourselves. And you may say, no, I don't work for myself. I work for somebody else. That's a lie. We work for ourselves because when you work on commission, you have got to do everything in your power to make money, honey. And that means you talk to everybody that you possibly can. And our subject for today is selling. It is a lifestyle. Now, here's the thing. You know, people ask me, Gary, do you sell all the time? Do you talk to people all the time? Maybe not all the time, but a lot of the time I let people know what I do, and I'm always very friendly. I go out there because, see, nobody wants to buy from people that are mean. I mean, I've worked with some people. I've seen some people. I went and looked at some houses and products and stuff, and people just weren't real nice to me. And I'm thinking, dang, man, these people need to get another job. See, customers, they want to be appreciated. They want it to be liked. They want people to like them, but they got to remember, listen, they've been beaten down so many times over the years that they put up a wall. So what happens is, 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 is you become a good salesperson, and those people, they're like, dang, this guy's a little bit different. I think I'd like to do business with these folks. But listen, it is a lifestyle. I mean, you've really got to think outside the box. Because, see, I'm going to tell you what, if you are just a regular old salesperson or somebody who doesn't really care about their job, it'll show and you'll just eventually just get out of sales. But, see, if you're that person that I think you are, just get a little fist bump and say you are, you can do anything you put your mind to. You remember, it's a numbers game, and if we're out there selling and if it's a lifestyle, we got to remember... We got to go when the iron is hot, baby. When you're selling, just remember this one thing. If you're selling and you're doing real good, don't stop. 
What if? What if you just did a couple of more, talk to a few more people? What if, if you decide that, hey, I'd like to go ahead and meet number one? But remember, not everybody can be number one, but you could shoot for the stars. And I'm going to tell you what, when you do your best and you shoot for the stars, you may not be number one, but you make more money, honey. <laughs> You're always going to have them people that are going to be number one. At least you want to be in the top 5%, top 10%, because this is selling is a lifestyle. It becomes like, I don't know, man, I get so excited when I talk to customers, when I have somebody who will listen. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes if you can just get in front of somebody and give your presentation, you got a better chance of selling if you have that capability. Now, I'll tell you what, sometimes in, the, in this selling lifestyle, we have ebb and flow, good days, bad days, and sometimes we just got to say, dang, man, I just got to go with the flow. And remember, always love your salespeople, always take care of your management, always take care of those people that are blessing you because see what comes around goes around and you never know who's going to be your boss one day <laughs> you know my name is gary lee stanley your sales guy and i love everything that's got to do with selling it's my life i love it now i ain't saying it's always been easy i've had some sales jobs that just didn't mesh with me because i worked on commission and being a single person it was like you know with my kid and everything i had to make some money like right away and i spent a lot of money on leads and and invested in these things and they didn't always work out but see i didn't give up because see i decided a long time ago i'm gonna keep trying because i love talking to people where else can you get a job that ain't manual labor where you can just talk to people about about concepts and ideas and show them some features and some benefits and say, well, what do you think? You want to go with that? <laughs> it's funny, I know, but in see, in reality, you know, it's selling, it's a lifestyle. It becomes easier and easier as you get more more better at it. I'm just telling the truth. You know, when I first got into sales, you know, I thought I was a bag of chips and, uh, you know, and all that. But see, what happened was, is I had to learn the hard way I, where I was making money. I, at first, I was a little slow, but I kept asking for the order. I kept doing more and more. I started getting training. Selling is just not doing, okay, you go and you have to train. You have to learn more about the fundamentals about your product. You got to learn and get a base. And then you also have to make sure that you're always continuously training and learning. It's a lifestyle, guys. I'm telling you what. It's like any other any other great career, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever. Those people are always continuous learning. They're always updating their information. And if you're a salesperson and you want to be in the top 5%, 10%, your whole goal should be, remember, it's a lifestyle. You know, everything's predicated around your life. Now, remember, see, people are watching us all the time. So if you got kids, family members, significant others, and you got a bad attitude, oh, crap. What you got to remember is, hey, listen, we got to do our best because, see, people are, are, are emulating us. Even if we don't think so, people are trying to be like us because if we're being successful, they also want to be like us. But if we're putting out these bad vibes where we don't care, we have a bad attitude, we treat people disrespectfully, they'll end up being the same way. And a lot of nobody likes mean people. Some people like to hang around with people because they're followers. But, see, I'm a leader and you're a leader. So remember, selling it's a lifestyle. You have to want to be number one. You have to want to be successful. You have to want to get up every morning when you're tired. You, you have to have this lifestyle mentality that, hey, I can deal with objections and I'll overcome those objections. But remember, it's a numbers game. So the more people that you talk to and put your information in front of, you're going to close more sales. It is a time frame. And see, what happens is, is when you first get in to start selling a particular product, you don't have a lot of knowledge. You know a little little bit about it so you can be real dangerous and you can sell some but what happens is, is once you learn how to have a selling conversation about your particular product and you stick and stay with a company i'm gonna tell you what you make more money see the first year you might do pretty good you might do all right but see, after that first year, you've gotten your feet wet. You've given a lot, a lot of presentations. You're going to get really, really good. And it becomes a good selling lifestyle. And what happens is you'll start getting awards. You'll start making money. You'll start getting these accolades. You'll get all these attaboys. And then you got to remember, see, it, once you get an award and everything, you get all this glory and everything. You're, and then next week, your manager's going to say, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> 
selling it's a lifestyle it's like you know people are always wanting you to give more and do more and more and more and more because see people work off of you too you got management that need to make some money honey and if you're doing a good job that slap on the back and you know i've got some great managers in my life that have loved me until i could love myself until i figured it out that hey listen it's a numbers game, and the more people you talk to, the better you're going to get. That's just the truth of it. Selling, it is a lifestyle. I mean, you can get a new home, new cars. You can. Some people become very, very rich. And listen, it's a lifestyle, so one of the things you got to key in on is your education. You say, education? What do you mean? I mean, you got to get your upgrade, updated stats. I'm talking about going back and getting certifications, getting licenses. See, a lot of these big companies where you can make a lot of money want you to have these certifications in their particular product. They want you to have these licenses so that way you can actually have a conversation with people about your product. See, and I'm going to tell you what, it ain't easy to be a salesperson, but it's a lifestyle. You got to go with the ebb and flow. You got to deal with the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all, and you got to have a positive attitude. What I mean by that is positive in, positive out. If you're throwing out negatives all the time, people will run from you, and then you won't be in sales long. So I'm just going to say, I've been there and I've done that. So when I share this information with you, it's because I've been there and I've done that. So positive in, positive out. People like to hang around with winners, not wieners. I mean it big time. They want you to be successful. So once you start getting success, go ahead and share that with other people. Teach them how to be successful. Talk to them when they're going through things, rough times and so forth. Take them, be a mentor. Be a mentor to people who are looking at you going, how do you do it? Man, you're making all this money. How, do, how can I do it? See, you got to grab a hold of those ones that you see that are real hungry. You got to teach them the fundamentals and the basics on how to sell. And see, what happens is, is it makes you better because you get better and better because you're always using your brain to help others. And by helping others, you're helping yourself. And don't be jealous if somebody's kicking butt and taking names. Baby, this is a lifestyle. Sometimes you're going to have people get better than you. You're going to have some people that ain't going to be better than you. But see, don't be, be a humble salesperson. When I say be a humble salesperson, be that kind of person that acts as if. I've already been there, I've done that, and I'm already writing these checks. But always remember, check your ego, check your pride. Because you can be number one one day and at the bottom the next. I've seen it, I've been there, and it sucks. Uh, so, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We're having a great conversation and talking about selling. It's a lifestyle. It really, really is. I mean, it's afforded me to pay off my home and, you know, give me opportunities to have nice things and take care of my kid and be able to have a, a lifestyle that, you know, some people, I get to, I work for myself. I'm telling you what, it feels real good. Yeah, I may work for different companies and so forth, but see, I work for myself. I get to work the hours I want to work. I got people not micromanaging me. I got people not telling me all the time that you need to do your job. You need to do your job. Because, see, I get to do my own thing. I know as a salesperson, what happens is, is if you're doing a good job, you're you're working a schedule. You're working your, 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 your leads. You're trying to be successful. You're looking for those avenues where you can make a lot more money. And, see, I'm going to tell you what. Continuous training, guys, it is a key, a key to success. And what I mean by that is look up motivational people. Listen to people like Brian Tracy, Tom Hopkins, and Card Grant and Gar Grant Cardone. I mean, there's some really great people out there that's got some great information. And Zig Ziglar and Gary Lee Staley, that's me. I got a bunch of cool videos that I like you to share. But listen, it's nice to get different perspectives from different people that are doing selling and people who are successful. Because like I said, there's some great success people that are way more successful than me. And I'm being honest, but I'm working to that end. I'm still going to school right now. I'm learning about how to sell real estate. And I've also got a mortgage license, an insurance license, a bunch of different other certifications. But see, the one thing I'm learning is a lifestyle. If you want to get better, you got to put yourself out there. You got to talk to the people. You got to do the best things that you can do. And you got to treat people with the respect that they deserve. And remember, if you want to be in the top 1%, top 10%, Think outside the box. Look for those avenues and things that will help you in your selling career. 
Remember, our subject for today is selling. It's a lifestyle. So remember, you're important and we matter. And the lifestyle is just wonderful. I didn't say it was easy because some days it really sucks. But see, if you just keep on keeping on trying, looking for new avenues and ways and means to get better. And don't forget to, 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 to study. You got to study the craft of selling so you can be successful. Zig Ziglar is one of my favorites, so I'm always thinking about that guy. But always remember, if you're great at selling, the reason why is because you made it a lifestyle. So go out there and sell some. But if you ain't asking for the order, it ain't selling. Hmm, selling. It's a lifestyle. I love it. It's just awesome.